hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm says paolo and three weeks ago i uploaded my bed sitter tour and i promised i would show you guys the transformation and the video is finally here so if you've not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on and share with all your friends that have tiny spaces and would love to transform them but they don't know where to start from so this is my transformation and so guys i've always wanted to have a gray and white themed house and that's the first thing you need to do when decorating your house or transforming it you have to choose the colors that you want to go with and try to go with not so many colors about two colors or three colors and i personally recommend nudes not so bright colors so this is my entryway as you can see i changed my curtains before they were some cheap white kind of sheer curtains but now these are great they're very nice they like mchana there is no light okay usiku there is no light coming through so kuna darkness mchana when i draw them there is enough light that is it as you can see my entryway I love it okay what else can you notice guys I got rid of the ugly was it blue green carpet yes I got this tiny carpet um, it's gray also it's kind of silver ish but I figured it would go with my gray theme I also got this beautiful painting that I love it inspires me a lot and it's also going with my theme white gray and as you can see she's a warrior and guess what guys yay finally i got a couch i'm no longer sitting on my bed no longer sitting on one armchair so this is my couch that i love so so much and it took so much for me like what a twitter to your story but i love my couch it's also a dark gray because i figured dark gray would be good for cleaning since i have so many white stuff in my house and I do quite a lot of art on my chair, so that would be perfect. And it's also velvet, yes. Uh huh. So for the curtains, guys, I got them in Gidurai, yes. The carpet too, I got it from Gidurai. I got the couch from Kahawa Wendani, that's where I made it. I got it customized then for the watches you can see on top of my tv i got them from house of leather they are supposed to be three but one fell down i didn't recognize that when recording this video yes so um the painting too i got it from an artist in kahawa wendani uh if you want the contacts i can find them and send them to you guys what else so let's see that's my living room it's quite a transformation from what i had before guys i mean there was just a tv stand and a blue carpet now i have a nice carpet i have a nice couch with an ottoman storage so yes So guys going with only two colors will allow me to play so much with like throw pillows and throw blanket i can put in even bright colors because i only have two colors gray and white plus a little bit of black because of the electronics so it's going to allow me to play with colors in the future and the good thing about getting a customized couch is i told them to make this couch bigger because i wanted to be able to put my legs up when i'm crocheting so they made it quite bigger for a good price guys yes so just get your couch customized then this is my bedroom i love it i hope you do too because remember before how it looked it had a very floral duvet which i don't like um it was so much uh -huh. so now i got these um the duvet cover uh, it says his hide and her side from think twice and i got it for 350 guys yes 350 then i got the pillows from kamukunji i think the white one a pair was going for around 700 i don't remember the gray one but i think it was 800 
then this other one you recognize it from kitambo and then this is my cashew rack i don't have a place for my bag but since my shoe rack is not full i don't mind using that so it's working as a multi-purpose shoe rack and bag holder and it was i bought it when it was white i also got it customized so i need to paint another coat of white because i see it's a bit stained so that is it about it and there's always my guitar is always with me so it found a spot finally found a place where hayezi anguka then we come to my dresser which i am not yet done transforming you guys remember it used to be brown yes and i'll tell you the story about this dresser because it took me a lot if you google guys it's very hard for you to paint mahogany so this one i'm not even done painting it finally now we are in my kitchen and this is it guys so i never intended to have a microwave but due to unavoidable circumstances i'll tell you that story on another day i had to get one and it's white because i love white it's vintage because i love all things and this is my tiny fridge that i've had for a very long time but it serves the purpose that's my tabletop um, cooker which i've also had for quite some time and i love it so but uh, i know i don't really like it because i can't bake but it plays its purpose that is my small card drawer a cabinet whatever you call it where i store my food and i don't know why i recorded this part but maybe we can just look at it that is the mirror that i made if you guys watch that video and um so in my bedroom i've just decorated with things that i made myself and i think i'm just giving you another view of what is happening here <laughs> ha <sighs> guys like coming up with how to design a bed sitter with so many things and make it spacious needs you to plan ahead needs you not to buy tiny things because tiny things will make your place look cluttered like um see how my couch makes my living room to look so big yet it is very small so getting a big couch give the illusion of the house being big i know my bed is small but well it plays like it gives me enough space to dance in my house so i don't mind okay let's finish with this random tour that i'm giving you here so that is my dish rack that i also got from kamukunji but i actually recommend you get yours from jumia because mine is fading not fading rusting but my friend got hers from jumia and it is still in perfect condition so that picture over there is my dad yes that's the only picture in my house and i decorated my fridge here because i don't like the label on it i tried to get rid of the label it couldn't come out so i decided to decorate it with stickers and that small thing you're trying to see here is my sewing machine okay you can't see it clearly but you'll see it later in the video another thing i'd like to say guys is that take your time to decorate your space don't be in a hurry don't be under any pressure because you need to think will i love this thing three years down the line or am i doing it because i'm under pressure because you need to buy something that will serve you for quite a long time that's why for me it took so long to get a couch because i wanted a couch that will serve me no matter where i move if i move to a bigger house it's still going to look good so to wind up this video this is the bathroom and as you can see it's very tiny but the toilet fits the bathroom seats i liked it the only thing that wasn't nice was the fact that the toilet seat did not have a cover yes so that is it and it was bright enough the light was enough yeah so if you want to see the bathroom transformation make sure you keep watching my videos and lastly is the balcony here it is it was also tiny but it fits everything you can relax outside there you can have fun 
so and you can also bask outside that is it about the bed sitter guys i hope you like what you're seeing and if you do don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends until next time see you bye